Good morning, televiewers of my media prime television. It's another edition of your favorite program, The Brief, which is uh, dedicated to the review of striking headlines uh, in the paper. So on today's edition of uh, the program, the newspapers are focusing on the demise of uh, the first lady's uh, reporter, Enanga Kebi. She reportedly died in Tunisia, as the papers are telling us uh, this morning. Back to school is still making headlines uh, in the papers. Numerous donations, uh, especially to IDPs and uh, children of uh, soldiers who lost their lives at uh, battlefields across the national territory. We shall tell you more in this edition of uh, the program and many other headlines as captured by newspapers this morning. Gladys Bomotongina is here. Let's have what the French language newspapers carry this morning. Bonjour Gladys. Bonjour Lasha Kinsley, bonjour à vous et merci de nous retrouver pour cette autre édition de Debrief, votre émission bilingue de revue de presse sur My Media Prime et Télévision. Alors ce matin, nous débutons avec le journal L'économie quotidien, le journal L'économie quotidien qui nous parle de législation fiscale au Cameroun. En effet, le journal nous déclare ce matin que la DGI recense donc des difficultés euh, du secteur privé à Douala. En effet, Modeste Mopa Fontion, directeur général des impôts, échange avec les opérateurs économiques depuis hier dans la capitale économique. Ceci dans le cadre de la préparation de la loi de finances 2022. Les détails sont donc en page 3 de l'économie quotidien ce matin. À sa page 6, le journal nous révèle que le paiement des factures via Mobile Money, NEO, vient de suspendre donc la gratuité de ce service. En page 6, toujours, le journal nous parle de changement climatique. L'Afrique perd entre 5 et 15 de croissance de son PIB par habitant par an. Mesdames, Messieurs, toujours dans le même journal à sa page 5, le journal L'économie quotidien nous parle ici du partenariat public-privé. Ce, ce que vient faire ici la mission AFD et Expertise France au Cameroun. Nous poursuivons avec Émergence quotidien. Émergence quotidien nous amène donc dans la défense des prisonniers politiques au Cameroun. En effet, le journal nous révèle ce matin que Maurice Camto sera donc demain à la d'appel. Il sera donc, il y sera donc en qualité d'avocat membre du collectif de, qui défend donc les dits prisonniers politiques. Les détails sont en page 3 d'émergence au quotidien ce matin. À sa page 4, le journal Émergence quotidien nous parle de développement humain. Le Cameroun est donc classé à la 151e position mondiale. En page 3, le journal nous parle de gaz naturel liquéfié, projection d'une augmentation de production en 2023. Mesdames, Messieurs, nous poursuivons avec le messager. Le messager quotidien nous parle en grand titre toujours du MRC. Le journal nous révèle en grand titre ici que le MRC est dans un brasier confronté à la spirale de démission. Le parti de Camto dénonce une tentative de déstabilisation par des hommes à bout d'arguments politiques. Les détails sont donc en page 3 du journal Le Messager ce matin. Nous clôturons avec le jour, journal Calara. Le journal Le Calara nous parle en grand titre des hautes instructions du chef de l'État, son excellence Paul Biya, dans l'affaire DGI Cébar Vision 4. Paul Bia rappelle donc Motazé et Laurent Esso à l'ordre. En effet, le chef de l'État conteste les largesses fiscales accordées à Jean-Pierre Amogou Bellinga, euh, notamment par euh, le dégrèvement de le dégrèvement de 8,99 milliards de francs CFA et le gel d'un recouvrement de 17,8 milliards de francs CFA en faveur de ces entreprises. Il ordonne donc au ministre des Finances et à son collègue de la Justice le respect de la loi dans le traitement des dossiers concernant les inspecteurs des impôts. Les détails sont donc en page 6 et 7 de ce journal Le Calara. En page 9, le journal nous parle de l'affaire Mebengo. Victor Meunier cite, donc je cite, « Je suis en prison pour crime d'amitié avec Mebengo. » L'ancien directeur général adjoint de la SCB Crédit Lyonnaise a enfin donné son témoignage devant le tribunal criminel spécial. Mesdames, Messieurs, voilà pour vos titres ce matin en langue française. Place à la découverte des titres. 
en langue anglaise avec toi, Lasha Kinsley. Thank you, Gladys Bomontongina. Let's kick start this morning with the Guardian Post newspaper. The Guardian Post is focusing on the death of Shantabia's journalist, according to the paper in Nanga KB, has died. And the paper tells us for that that former journalist with the state broadcaster CRTV, Juliana in Nanga KB, has died. Her family uh, has confirmed Inanga Kebi was uh, known famously for the coverage of the First Lady's uh, Shanta Bia's uh, activities, according to the paper, within and without uh, Cameroon. In her days of journalism practice, the late Inanga Kebi was uh, identified more as Shanta Bia's journalist than uh, working for the state uh, broadcaster CRTV. We continue to talk other headlines uh, this time around uh, with uh, what happened in uh, Meme Division. Military kills uh, two amber fighters and uh, destroyed a camp in Mbonge, Mbonge subdivision in uh, that uh, part of the country. At least two uh, separatist fighters have been killed, according to the paper, and others seriously injured in uh, uh, Bombele, a village in Bonge subdivision, the main division of the southwest region of uh, the country. Uh, the Amba camps uh, were destroyed or was destroyed by elements of uh, the Rapid Intervention Unit uh, B. The Amba fighters were killed, as I uh, earlier mentioned, after soldiers of the 6th uh, Rapid Intervention Battalion uh, B stormed the area as we are told, according to Lieutenant Colonel uh, Danzabe, Danzabe Rene, commander of the Sith uh, B, the clean up operation was uh, aimed at uh, targeting uh, mostly the uh, remaining ring leaders who are now uh, terrorizing the population because of uh, uh, the guns that they have in their possession. You can read more in this edition of the Guardian Post News uh, paper. Let's talk about the gesture of President Paul Bia uh, through the Minister of Territorial Administration, Paul Atanganji Minabos, uh, distributes uh, Bia's relief items to flood victims in uh, Obala. And the paper tells us that Territorial Administration Minister Paul Atanganji uh, was there to distribute huge consignment of relief and that was coming from President Paul Beer to uh, the victims of floods that occurred in Obala, Lekia Division of the Central Region. That was last May 18, 2022. We continue to talk other issues this time around with the news watcher, newspaper, news watch, newspaper this morning is uh, interested in uh, what the paper terms uh, the longest uh, head of state in the world. Bia succeeds Queen Elizabeth II as world's oldest head of state. And the paper tells us further that uh, the president of the Republic of Cameroon, Paul Bia, is now a world's oldest uh, head of state following the demise of uh, Britain's uh, Queen Elizabeth II on Thursday. That was on Thursday, uh, September 8, 2022. Uh, the Queen died uh, peacefully at Balmora in uh, Scotland, aged 96. Buckingham uh, Palace uh, announced uh, she was uh, or she will be buried on uh, Monday, September 19, 2022. And uh, so several uh, uh, personalities have already addressed their condolence message to uh, the new King of England, as uh, we are told. You can read more in this edition of Newswatch newspaper. Talking about the condolence of uh, uh, message of head of state president Paul Beer to the new king of uh, England. We continue to talk other issues uh, with uh, Newswatch newspaper. This time around, uh, the paper is uh, talking about what uh, happened in Mezan Division, where Bamenda Two May uh, is is back to school for bike riders' children and PWDs uh, over there in uh, Bamenda. Uh, the mayor of Bamenda too distributed uh, didactic materials to uh, kids of uh, uh, bike riders in uh, that uh, part of the country, according to uh, the Newswatch newspaper. On to Lifetime newspaper. Lifetime newspaper this morning is focusing on what the paper terms corruption and sex scandals rocking the Presbyterian Church in Cameroon. The paper tells us that Reverend Funky tasked to resign account for private uh, business investment, declare assets and publish or publish uh, financial statements according to the paper and uh, senior office workers to declare assets uh, moderator drag to court 
That's another question uh, the Lifetime newspaper is asking if the moderator will be dragged to court. We continue to talk other issues. Uh, this time around, uh, why von Jindam is still in jail. The paper this morning is uh, telling us, is bringing to us the reasons why von Jindam, the former uh, general manager of uh, Shantien Nava, is still in prison. And Queen Elizabeth II dies at 96. Uh, Lifetime newspaper is uh, focusing on the uh, legacy of uh, Queen Elizabeth II uh, who died at the age of uh, 96. And uh, she will be buried this Monday according to what the newspaper is uh, telling us. Thank you for watching Televias on my media prime. We are back in the studio to continue with our discussions this uh, morning. Amadou Tante. He's already joining us. And uh, Alex, uh, not Alex, uh, Nicolas Santos, uh, who is also on the line to the United States of America this morning to discuss with us uh, some of the major headlines as captured by a newspaper. We'll begin with Amadou Tante, who is already seated in the studio. Amadou Tante, good morning and welcome. Good morning, Mr. Good morning. Good morning. Good morning. Good morning. Prime Television. And it's always a pleasure, as I always say, to be for me to be guest on your program. You're just coming in from Gokitunja? How is the situation over there? Well, uh, permit me to say that the rate of human rights violation within the, the, the Ngokutunja division has drastically reduced thanks to some of the administrators on the ground because I realized that when I went uh, to this division, I had the privilege to meet some of the administrators on the ground and uh, they made me understand how, how they have been fighting to make sure that they, they defend as security forces, they, lim they limit the rate of human rights violations. But when it comes to the issue of... Uh, well, the, the fact that because as some people are saying that the separatist fighters are fin uh, most of them have been killed and other, it's true that separatist fighters are being killed and uh, the military are being killed as well. But when you go there, you realize that nothing has changed with regard to the number of separatist fighters. So as if it's always the, the amount of uh, operation that has changed. That's why when I passed through Bam Bangulan, uh, B B Bamising, mm -hmm. and when we are passing through the area, we have so more than 50 separatist fighters and, uh, around the area. So we, we ask us that each and everyone should make sure that you hold your own 1,000 and pass and drop your 1,000 and you go. So, so I don't know what, what, what is the situation of back to school in Gokitunja? You just you left <coughs> Gokitunja yesterday and you are in Douala this morning. What is the situation in that division? No, this, this, to up, to up till now, this, this seems, this is very timid. I thought the, the rate of people that are or students that are going to school are still very timid. In fact, I don't know, but maybe with times, as with the deal of BBC was telling us, maybe with time they, 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 the situation will change because we are now experiencing lockdown. So no, those people are not people so are how not were going you to, able to, to school. How were you able no, to I left on Sunday. Mm -hmm. I left yeah. about a year and on Monday, yes, because mm -hmm. the whole of last, from Thursday, Thursday last week, Thursday and last week, on Friday, there mm -hmm. was lockdown, and the whole of this week, there's lockdown, so there's no way to move, except so for maybe for those Sunday who are going through Bangula. And you stayed in Bamenda. <laughs> so, <laughs> so there's lockdown for one week, and how are the, uh, the children going to school? That's what I'm saying, because the children are not able to go to school because of the lockdown, so they are afraid to go to school. That's, that's where there's a problem. I don't know, even know why these people are still exercising this issue of lockdown, because it's really penalizing our people. Because I don't know, there's no, there's no better justification for, uh, for preventing children from going to school. They should allow these students to exercise their right to education, not only exercise their right to go to school, but equally ensure that these children are being protected within the school while they are in school. Amadou Tante, what kind of schools are operating in the Northwest or in Gokitunja Division? Is it, do we have community schools, government schools? Which kind of school is operating? If I thought there is effective back to school in Gokitunja, do we still have community schools? Yeah, I think within the within Gokitunja Division, uh, we still have community schools that are going to have community school and maybe private school, but the major problem is the government school. Because I realized, I realized that virtually little or one or no government school was operating, maybe between within the Babisi, Babisi subdivision, the government schools are not operational. But in some areas, there are other private schools and uh, this issue. What about government by Lengua High School, Doc? Is it operating? Oh, wait, I, for the, well, I cannot say. I, don't, I have not even tried to verify whether government by Lengua High School Doc, is going on or not. Okay. So. Donc, vous dites euh, tantôt que les établissements de communautaires fonctionnent, mm -hmm. les établissements privés fonctionnent, mais les établissements publics oh, oui. ne fonctionnent pas. C'est ces établissements publics qui ne fonctionnent pas. Mais qui sont les enseignants qui enseignent dans ces établissements euh, communautaires Non, ce sont les enseignants privés. Okay. Oui, ce sont les enseignants privés parce que les, 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 les enseignants publics, mm -hmm. plus, plus de, 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 ces enseignants ne sont même pas, <rire> non, sont pas là parce okay. qu'ils sont peur même des séparatistes. Parce que les, ces, Quand tu es là, même si le papa à l'école, parfois on vient les, les kidnapper, on dit que vous, vous, vous pouvez aller à l'école. Dans ces schools, quel genre d'attire do they les enfants put on en uniforme Non, so... ils no, ne le mettent pas en uniforme. Quand vous avez rencontré ces administrateurs, qu'est-ce qu'ils ont dit à vous sur ce que vous dites maintenant, sur les écoles de gouvernement Certains d'entre eux vont venir et disent que les écoles sont opérées normalement. Why the realities on the ground might be different? What did they tell you about the efforts that government is putting in place to ensure that there is effective schooling oh, in, uh, in Gokitunja? 
Let's so like uh, the 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 civil administrator. That's the deal of Babisis of the I met the deal of Babisis of the I was trying to discuss with him with regard to the issue of school. He mm -hmm. said it was not really easy doing uh, forcing them to forcing these people to go to school. But he has been doing a lot of things within the subdivision to ensure that this, the, uh, the government school go operational. Like the issue of clearing most of the school within the Babisis of most of the government school institutions have been uh, have, have been cleared. Mm -hmm. So he have equally been doing a lot of things to make sure that he sensitizes the, the population to tell mais, them mais the les, importance les of parents, going to school. Les parents ne sont pas non, plus les ah, séparatistes sont, sont toujours peu, parce qu'il y a les séparatistes sont toujours là. Non, mais les séparatistes préfèrent que les enfants aillent dans les écoles communautaires que d'aller dans les établissements euh, de, de l'État public. Oui, peut-être que certains de ces parents pensent que les, les, les enfants sont protégés à l'école euh, communautaire par rapport à l'école publique. Et qui protège ces enfants dans les écoles communautaires Non, pour ça, moi, je ne peux pas exactement dire si c'est si qui, qui, <rire> qui, qui les protège. Mais nous, vous, il, faut, il faut remarquer que même les séparatistes, comme ils sont plus proches de la population, c'est facile même pour les séparatistes de venir attaquer les, les parents. Parce que même les militaires, même si les militaires sont dans certains de ces écoles, établissements, ils ne doivent pas être là dans ton, chez, chez vous. Quand vous, quand vous êtes là, parce que quand les séparatistes ont constaté que vous êtes toi à envoyer ton enfant à l'école, ils peuvent venir même chez toi attaquer. Donc, Donc, il y a une sorte sort of intimidation, terrorisme. Non, it's not terrorism. It's just, let's not just say intimidation. Because when we are saying terrorism, it's the word is too big for, for that. Because, uh... <laughs> Donc, par analogie, M. Tante, on peut, on peut arriver à croire que ces écoles communautaires sont dirigées par des séparatistes. Non, ces écoles ne sont parents, pas dirigées. Les parents ont peur d'envoyer les enfants dans les écoles publiques, mais préfèrent envoyer leurs enfants dans les écoles communautaires et pensant qu'ils sont plus en sécurité là-bas. Et pourtant, some, les some établissements schools, publics or... peuvent être protégés par l'armée. Non, ces écoles ne sont pas... Euh, ce n'est pas ces séparatistes qui ont... Ce n'est pas, pas eux qui sont les propriétaires de ces écoles, ce sont les communautés. On dit que les communautés, on dit que les communautés, c'est les communautés. Donc ce sont les écoles-là, comme par exemple, par l'école, c'est une école islamique, c'est une école islamique, mais on appelle école communauté, pour plus ces écoles-là, ce n'est pas le niveau de l'école qu'on a créé. Mm. Par exemple, so les écoles islamiques sont pas managés par les séparatistes. Non, ils ne sont pas managés par les séparatistes. Parce que même dans les bâtiments, j'ai réalisé que même dans les écoles qui sont actuellement appelées des communautés islamiques, parce que les écoles sont opérées sous des institutions privées, comme les écoles islamiques, les écoles privées, les écoles communautaires, 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 les Mm, no, that is what I've not tried to, to find out. I don't, I don't know, but I think it's not possible. <laughs> why, why, why is it, why is it not possible? Why is it not possible to sing the national anthem in these establishments, communities? No, when I said that uh, the separate, uh, the separate, the separate are crucial to the population, it means that people are really trying to do everything possible that would prevent them from being attacked by the separatists. When I was, no, I, I realized that the government. They want to sing the national anthem because they don't want to be attacked by the separatists. That's the problem. The issue is accepted because sometimes I realize some of the administrators go to these institutions and try to force them either to sing national anthem or like what we saw on the social media the other day where. The students were giving me, being given the, Cam the, the Cam Cameroon flag. We are not denying we are in Cameroon, but the issue is that this, for the safety and security of these people, if we think that giving them the flag will expose their life to danger, it's preferable not to do that. So we cannot do. But in what country are we living, Amadou Tante, where the separatists dictate their laws in one part of the country and the population has to live as they decide, and then uh, the government Cameroonian has to align to their desires? No, the issue here is that the government is not serious. Had it been the gov our government was serious, the government would have taken stringent measures to make sure that this problem is resolved. Because if the government don't want to solve the problem, then we are going to continue living under a confused system. So that's the way I think the major problem lies. So, because Amadou Tante means now that we are, we comes back to the, the fact that it's no longer advocacy for the rights of the Anglophones, but it's rather terrorism because we intimidate people and use violence to obtain political, uh, 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 you know, I don't know how to ideology. put it. Ideology. It means that you are terrorizing the population. Like you use violence, intimidation, you know, on people for your political ambitions. It means that you are terrorizing them. No, like as I rightly said, I don't think it is an issue that's going to the level of terrorism. Because normally when we say terrorism, we are referring to the fact that these are criminals that are operating for their, their personal interest. When uh, you, you have to understand, you have to understand no, here is that, 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 that human rights, human rights, 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 rights defender lies, you only see it as uh, rights. You don't look at it from the prism of, you know, cr criminals like so many people have labeled those guys who are preventing children from going to school, which is of course a war crime that you are very much aware of. Mm -hmm. Yes. Yes, that's right. I'm, I'm not denying the fact that um, they might be term, uh, terrorists or whatsoever, but it's only a court institution that can declare them terrorists or whatsoever, the, what they are doing. Because I know that when you say terrorism, that they are, we are, it means that they are operating under the, the canopy of, of, of criminals that are operating for no good reason. But these are people who have genuine something that they are fighting for. for. No, they have genuine, they have something that they are fighting for is genuine. The only problem is the modus operandi. That's the way they use it, you know, they carry out their activities. By telling people, uh, to people not to sing the, uh, the national. Atem is is normal. 
There's not, there's not, there's not, there's not office or part of the part, part of everything. So that's okay. not an obligation. What I'm, I'm, I said is that we want the security of these people to be, to be guaranteed. Because if the government wanted these things to, be, to have to go on normally, they don't, the, the government would have looked at better ways of solving the problem. Because it has, as long as the crisis this system continues, that's uh, how the, our people are going to suffer. So I don't know when the students, what the students are going to affect. The worst, the worst thing we can do to a child is not to prevent the child from going to school. That's why we're saying that even the separatist fighters or whatsoever, they should allow even the, the public institution to function. To function Mais normally comment, so that the people can go to school. Comment est-ce qu'on explique, Amadou Tante, que les parents trouvent que les enfants sont en sécurité dans ces établissements communautaires et puis les séparatistes imposent encore des, des euh, lockdowns d'une semaine même, même les enseignants, est-ce qu'il y a même, même les enseignants publics, est-ce qu'ils est qu même, ils sont même là même, Tous les, ces enseignants sont peur, même, ils sont même peur, ils sont même peur d'aller, d'aller là-bas. Mais, mais malgré que même quand j'ai rencontré le, le préfet de, le sous-préfet de, de Babis, il m'a fait comprendre qu'il y a plus de ces, ces enseignants quand même qui se partent dans cet, cet établissement, mais les enfants ne viennent pas. Mmh. Parce que lui, lui même il était surpris parce que quand nous sommes allés à Babis pour un projet qu'on faisait, on faisait à, de, la, de là bas, lui même il était surpris avec le nombre de populations qui sont venues. C'est ça même que le, le sous-préfet nous a fait comprendre que quand, quand les populations entendent que c'est là où on va aller donner quelque chose à, aux gens, ils viennent nombreux. Mais quand ils demandent même aussi là de de faire le nettoyage dans les certains écoles, ces écoles-là, mm. ils refusent. Il faut, il fallait que les sous-préfets utilisent la force seulement pour les, pour, pour, pour les, pour les faire faire ce, ce genre de travail. Mm. Ok. Oui. Uh, Dr. Nick Santos, I don't know if you are still there. Uh, good morning and welcome once again. Yeah, good morning, Mr. Lasha Kinsley. I'm right here. Yes, you, you, uh, li you listen to Amadou Tante. He's just back from Gokitunja Division on mission of back to school. You listen to him, and the separatists, I mean, their quest of lockdowns and prevention of children from going to school is very much intact. Mr. Lasha Kingsley and fellow viewers, good morning. Uh, you know, you got me up from my sleep, and uh, <laughs> this is uh, 3 a.m., 4 a.m. here. Mm -hmm. I think uh, we coming, keep coming back to the same the same scoreboard, keep coming back to the same issue, we keep coming back to uh, addressing the same issue all around the clock, doing the same thing, expecting the same different results. Um, at this particular point in time, uh, we are at a political standstill, we are calling it a deadlock, whereby um, you keep seeing the behaviors, uh, the behaviors of what is happening, you keep hearing the same kind of calls of lockdowns and all those kind of things um, if a solution is not found. Last time we proposed uh, in the One Cameroon Congress, we proposed 83 names of the people to talk to as Cameroonians, not as separatists, as Cameroonians. And we are still awaiting to see have those One people have those people that, accepted? Have they acknowledged the fact that they are still Cameroonians? <laughs> Some of them they don't want to hear that name Cameroonian. They call themselves Ambazonians. They call themselves other things that they like to be called. Mr. Lasha, I will tell you frankly that they know that they are Cameroonians, and uh, if you come to talk to them in terms of you are talking about groups, they will say they are Ambazonian because they they are leaders of groups. Of, of members of different groups. But when you approach them individually, because I'm going by the premise that the head of state said he doesn't dialogue with terrorists, he doesn't dialogue with separatists. Uh, so what is going to happen now is uh, we can dialogue with Cameroonians. And uh, out of the circle, uh, talking with them one on one behind, they accept that they are Cameroonians. But they accept that for the purpose of the battle and the crisis, they are in groups. So if you convocate groups, you are convocating Amazonian groups. But if you are convocating individuals, you are convocating Cameroonians. So uh, there is no reason for us to keep dragging this thing. There are shortcuts to, to end this crisis. But because people are making a lot of gains financially on both sides, on both sides, it becomes a very great problem to resolve. Thank you. Yeah, doctor, uh, recently a, a doctor who lectures at the University of Yaoundé, uh, Swa, came out with a finding regarding schools that are operating in the Northwest and Southwest regions. And he says some schools are being run by Ambazonia fighters, even brought <laughs> for the list. Are you worried 
about the leniency of the government towards such kind of move that is being or oh, laxity in the northwest and southwest regions where children now go to schools being run by Amazonians. Mr. Lasher, uh, that res responding to that question, it will be like uh, you are in the toilet and then you ask yourself what is smelling. You know, you know what I mean. You are in the toilet, then you ask yourself what is smelling or what is thinking. We are in a situation that we have been in a crisis for six years. And this crisis means that, or from all indication, this will go on for the next 50 years or for the next 25 years or 30 years if the appropriate thing is not done. So you will keep on seeing behaviors that are even worse than what obtains now. We we'll keep seeing those kind of schools declared. Very soon, will be hospitals declared. Very soon, it will be um, their own treasuries de declared. Very soon, it will be their own currency declared. The government will keep on fighting. Yes, May, uh, that, that, uh, 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 doctor. That's why I asked you that. Are so you not worried, as a Cameroonian? Are you not worried with the doctrine? What the children will be taught? Very, 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 very worried. Very, very worried because the appropriate thing is not done, and we see we keep seeing this thing progressing from one stage to another. And then the amount of debts I should be worried first about the debts, the debt toll. I should be worried about people leaving the area as a war, war zone. I should be worried about uh, the fact that uh, 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 students, our resources, workers have all migrated to other areas, our economy has been taken to 30 years back. Northwest region is no more the Northwest that used to be, that was booming and vibrant with activities. There's poverty, suffering, uh, social ills like uh, prostitution on the, on the, on the rise, uh, 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 stealing, arm robbery. I mean, even the education. I don't think in such an environment, if I was young, I would have said I can even school in the Northwest at this time because if your mind is not so uh, at peace, I don't think if you are studying, you can even get grasp of the material. Because what kind of schooling whereby you don't know whether you arrive school or if you are coming back from school, a stray bullet can pick you or the teacher will be killed or you, you I mean, and then there can be a, out of a sudden an explosive. And then people start running haters. I mean, let's go back to the table and fix this issue. Mm. Mr. Mais qui, qui ne voudrait pas qu'on qu retourne sur la table, docteur, docteur Santos Qui ne voudrait pas qu'on retourne sur la table Parce que vous avez dit à plusieurs reprises qu'on retourne sur la table, mais ça fait plusieurs mois aujourd'hui, et rien n'est fait. Les, les, les écoles de, de communes continuent à fonctionner dans ces établissements. Et on a un rapport qui nous fait savoir que ces écoles sont dirigées, certaines de ces écoles sont dirigées par des séparatistes. Au jour d'aujourd'hui, qui doit faire, prendre la décision de faire asseoir sur une table pour discuter et résoudre ce problème Yes, uh, Ms. Gladys, uh, uh, if you heard repeatedly when I've been on your show, I have said that there are business people who are blocking the sitting on the table. Business people on both sides. If you see, let me come to the separatist side. If you see a new president, number six president being Chris Anu, there is Marietta, there is Chris Anu, there is uh, Seseko in jail. There is Sako. Uh, there is Ayaba. I mean, you look at the pockets of governments. It's like an mm -hmm. elephant. It's like an elephant has fallen, and everybody takes a picture and cuts his or own share, put it in his bedroom, form a donation box. People start contributing money for them. How can people say they are in a struggle and they have nine or ten governments? Nine or ten governments, everybody wants to be president. Everybody is doing fundraising. It's like a church, you know, an hallelujah church whereby they gather Sunday offerings. Everybody takes this money and they buy houses and they buy cars. 
They have refused to work. I mean, Mais comment, you comment will stopper see ces hommes d'affaires, Dr. Santos? Comment mais, stopper ces hommes d'affaires, ces mais, hommes d'affaires-là qui ne veulent pas que cette crise s'arrête aujourd'hui? So that, on the separatist side, you call them leaders, but I call them businessmen. The people on the ground who are having the guns have had easy access to money. They can get up and go and attack a businessman and collect 10 million. As easy as that. Kidnapping for ransom and stuff. In the government, there are people who want to police consolidate their political mm -hmm. positions by not saying the truth. They keep on fighting. If they see anyone coming for peace, they fight. They misinform, they misinform the public and they misinform their hierarchical order about what is the truth. They, when they tell them, they assign them to come out with a long-lasting solution, they go and draft documents that will uh, 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 make the situation to become more complicated to resolve because to them, they are playing for time and amassing money. They are amassing money for military equipment, amassing money for, for, for travels, they are amassing money for, for, for projects like the GGR and other things. They are amassing the money, amassing the money, and the days keep going and more people are dying. They will come to ask the question every time that, what can we do? What can we do? What can we do? When we know that these are business people that do not want peace. Thank you. Okay, doctor, we're coming back to you. Amadou Tante, you... Let's talk about uh, the sudden U-turn of Eric Tato, uh, who has been one of those who instructed that CDC workers be driven from the plantation. You know, children should not go to school. And today he's saying that uh, school should go on. CDC workers should go back to the farms. Mm, well, I'm happy for uh, his position this now this time around because uh, it's, it's very regrettable that I learned uh, at the beginning that Eric Tato was one of those that were ordering for the, for the heads and the hands of some of the Cameroonians who are working within some companies in the, in the, in the particular in South Region to, to be cut off. At least uh, let me start by saying that that's what the, act, just the, fact, the fact that he has accepted, fact, what he has just said is a good, it was a good thing. And we are, I'm really praying that some of the separatist writers should embrace them and do such thing to encourage people to go to school and those that are working to work within this area. Well, but this well, cannot cancel well, well, the fact well, that he has he will, it's normal for him to face uh, war crimes or whatsoever he has committed war crimes against humanity or whatever he has done. Because the fact that he, he's changing his position today does not mean that what he, he did last time will be cancelled because he has changed his position. Amado Tante, why is he when he's taking that decision? Is he in Cameroon? No, he's not in Cameroon, but they have people that they are controlling in Cameroon with weapons. Mm. So that's what I have to understand that because they have people that are from there, they are controlled the separate side, they are working in collaboration with them with weapons, who are holding weapons. So when you have the gun, you have everything. Mm. Yeah, so he's. he's uh, what he about the victims now? Have the victims forgot, uh, forgiven him? No, whether the victim for God, forgive, uh, forgive him or not, what I was saying is that no, it's normal for him to face war crimes or crimes against humanity for what you know, he, 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 he went, he, he went ahead to brandish his wealth, saying that he's now a multi. Uh, millionaire business or multi-millionaire businessman in the U.S. He narrated his transition from an activist to being a, a billionaire in America. This is goes, that not provocation? No, it's actually provocation. This goes the same thing that Dr. Nick was trying to say because sometimes we realize that what most of those, there are some group of people that are really businessmen, as I was saying, war entrepreneurs that are making a lot of money from the war because some people, when you see them changing their position like this, realize that maybe one or other were tempted to say that they have been, they have been corrupted by the government because our government, instead of looking for genuine or something, the government is trying to bribe people on the back, on the back ground. Est-ce qu'ils étaient corrompus ou bien ils ont commencé la, 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 la bataille étant déjà corrompue? Non, peut-être qu'ils ont commencé le, 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 la bataille sans être cor cor corrompu. C'est après maintenant là qu'on a... You know that when you, are, when you are doing something, like the government, when they realize that so this person has influence, they do everything possible to make sure they corrupt that person, for the person to maybe change, either change the position or to, end, to, to, to ruin the fights that cause confusion within the, within the separatist fighters them, themselves. So that's why I think that that's another way for them to win the war. But when you go down there, you realize that the, the, the violence cannot bring solution to the problem. Mais est-ce que ces jeunes garçons qu'ils qu dirigeaient étant à l'étranger, mm -hmm. au jour d'aujourd'hui, vont accepter de déposer les armes juste parce qu'il est devenu milliardaire ou millionnaire? No, remember that he never said that they should deposit their arms. Mm -hmm. He only said that they should, fact, they should change their ways of operating. They should limit some, ex, some of their excesses okay. by allowing students to go to school or private, allowing the, uh, workers who are working with the CDC to go on the activities without, without any problem. He didn't say that they should deposit their arms. Mm. Yeah, that's where there's a problem because even this issue of depositing arms, not all of them that if there's someone the separate side ask them today to deposit the arms, they will deposit the arms because people join this struggle for so many reasons. There are some people that are joined it only because of they have to make business. Now they are 